Hi everyone, Jessica, a clinical psychologist from the psychcollective.com. Quick one today for our schema series. In schema therapy, we are always talking about needs. So much of the time we're talking about unmet needs, it particularly triggers a vulnerable child. But what do we actually mean when we talk about needs? All right, there are five categories of needs that we look at. Now, these needs are universal for children, and I'll let you in on a secret. As adults, we're just grown up children, which means these needs still relate to us no matter how old we get. You may be out of practice, you may be unfamiliar, you may have never had exposure to them early on, doesn't mean you don't need them. So we have five categories of needs. The first one being attachment, okay? Our need for attachment comes from a sense of feeling wanted, of feeling safe and secure and loved, to feel seen, to feel heard, to feel validated in our relationships and our attachments with other people. And that needs to be attachment really for healthy relationships with multiple people, not piling all of those relationship expectations and needs onto one person, okay? We have needs for autonomy. This is looking at our ability to grow as individuals, to have independence, to become our own person, to have opportunities for challenge, opportunities for growth, to be feeling competent, to be self, opportunities for self-development, to, and you know what? Having feedback on some of those opportunities is also really good for our autonomy because that gives us more information about how we could grow or change or get better at doing what we do or being who we are, okay? We also need freedom. We need freedom to be able to express what we think, what we feel, what we like, what we dislike, what we want and what we need. And we need the freedom to make some choices about those. Choices of what to wear, where to go out for dinner, what work you're gonna do, where you're gonna live, what studies you're gonna do, okay? We also need opportunities for spontaneity in play. And again, this doesn't change no matter how old we get. We still need to have play. It's just the play might be a little bit different. So there needs to be opportunities for fun and for silliness, opportunities for adventure and exploration, opportunities for self-discovery, opportunities for creativity and to allow our imagination to come up with crazy ideas and different schemes and holidays and how are you gonna decorate your house and what are you gonna do for fun this weekend? All right, and the last one that we need, again, no matter how old we get, are boundaries. Boundaries around what is acceptable behavior, boundaries around what is uh, acceptable ways of interacting with other people, boundaries for self-control, boundaries for self-discipline, and boundaries for us to take responsibility for our own actions. Okay, so that's it, short and sweet. Share this one for me on Facebook, comment down below on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.